Welcome back to another decoy builds. And what did I build this week? Why, I built a little water settlement. Honestly, it, pretty much inspired by Waterworld. Because there was a, a big settlement or city built on the water. And I, I kind of wanted to go for something like that. So, a really thrown together junk look throughout the entire place. Like, they just threw together whatever they could scavenge. As it should be in the wasteland. Now, there, there were quite a few things that were massive pains in the butt throughout this entire build. Uh, first and foremost, building on water is always a challenge. Um, the, the game really doesn't like you hanging out in the water too much. Now over here, first little spot, we got our first little living area. A couple of the bunk beds. Uh, I did my best to make it feel like it had the, the right amount of decorations. Not too much, not too little, just trying to dial it in. I will say, when walking through this place, it has just a really unique look. It, I don't know. I, personally, I love it. But then again, I built it, so I better love it. And the windmill it really helped sell this whole thing. Now, as we continue on into the next little living space, my original intent was to build a giant circular structure with a gate in part of the circle. But I ran into a really annoying problem, and that was with the way uh, the terrain is underwater, I couldn't make my full circle. So I ended up with, uh, we'll say like roughly three-fourths of the circle would work, the other part of it refused to cooperate. So I had to kind of abandon my original idea, and then I ended up with more of a teardrop shape. I don't, I don't know if anybody finds that important, but hey, the more you know. Now over into my little market section. And, um, anyway, so... Aside from the struggle of my circle not wanting to build like I needed it to, I also wasn't able to overlap floors to make my circle. So then I ended up with, um, it was like a, a double layered circle where one upper floor would be closer than the one beside it. And then we end up with all these rugs that pretty much hide the fact that part of this doesn't really have a floor under it. It's all about creating an illusion. But yeah, so uh, if you're wondering, why is there this massive patchwork of rugs? That is part of the reason. Now, this was originally going to be set up as just a bar. But then I had to kind of, you know, rework it as a, a diner bar type type of thing. Um, one thing that I thought was kind of neat when I was building was when I went to throw this fan down, it kind of stuck in the side of the the crafting bench. And I went, huh. Okay, well, I can live with that, and it looks like a, a support. Continuing on. Oh, yeah, this section right here. Oh, it, it was a, it was a pain. Also, um, valuable life lesson. Um, if you build something amazing, and you go, maybe I just put this one little thing over here. And it requires you to tear down said entire section. Mm, it may or may not be worth it. I, 
I, I totally enjoy my little outhouse thing. All right. It, it was a bit weird, but I'm glad I fought fought with it and got it roughly where it needed to be. One of my favorite things in here, though, as stupid as it is, is my little raft. It, it's nothing super fancy. Extremely easy to build. Oh, my door code. Oh no, everybody's gonna know how to get in my my storage room that has a completely open door on the other side. That's alright, I got the guard dog in here. He'll take care of it. Also, that guard dog was the last thing I, I managed to squeeze into this camp. And it, it forced me to tear down this entire section to rework my storage room to get him in here. And that was really frustrating. And the only reason it forced a complete teardown was uh, the antenna. But anyways, over to my raft. So, all this is is the two benches and a picnic table. And you get them merged just right and you end up with this cool little raft look. I really wanted to build this bigger but I didn't have the budget and you know honestly I think it it fits the size of the camp but man I want to build a much bigger one so if that happens down the road just know that it all links back to this moment in time again I just uh, this place just has a really cool look it is pretty darn annoying, though, because constantly while building or going around a certain spot, you get sucked into the stupid power plant event. Like, I, I would take you a full lap, but I don't want to... I don't want to trigger it anymore. It's so annoying. Also, the enemies running around underwater. It gets kind of annoying, too, but eh, what are you going to do? But that's going to wrap up the tour of my build. I hope you've enjoyed it. Please remember to like, sub, and share. Later.